So I asked a question in the introductory uh, video on drawing, your first video. By the way, keep your drawings and keep your um, videos in chronological order um, one at a time. And there's a sequence here. So it's fine to go back and look and review one, which is the nice thing. They're almost like chapters in a book. Um, so you want to be sure and go back and study the first one again and keep uh, referring back to these videos over and over as we're developing uh, in this semester. But I asked the question again, so what is a drawing? A drawing, uh, drawing is a lot of things and it, it does a lot of things for a lot of people. Um, I think about, um, and this um, has to do with uh, capturing an idea or explaining something to another human being. And I was watching a, a wonderful PBS special about you know the nature of drawing, and uh, there was a doctor who was in surgery, open heart surgery, and was trying to explain something to the nurse, and he he couldn't he didn't have words, and he grabbed um, a, a utensil tool and draw and took a little blood from the patient's. Um, uh, surgery and drew on the sheet what he was trying to explain to the nurse. Um, I think that he probably understood, but she didn't. And so uh, this is an example of how that works. Um, people are drawing constantly. And um, whether it's, it's, it's an idea to express a feeling, uh, to activate our imaginations, to make nonverbal connections with another person used for meditation and contemplation can solve a problem and can teach us by looking. In the olden days, before the invention of the camera and now the digital world, drawing was a record of our past. Google, um, if you want more information about this, Google the Losco Caves in France or the petroglyphs in Arizona for a closer look. People have great ideas, uh, wonderful ideas, but they don't have a way to express them. Um, you can have um, solutions. I think about the, the potential of, of ideas and how they just don't get out there um, because people don't know how to draw. And I hear often from students over and over again um, how they, they have these ideas, but they can't figure out how to Put them on paper and when they try to put them on paper they get really 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 frustrated so um, it's one of these things that you build um, very much like again playing the piano and playing the chords you're building skills um, any great athlete is spending hours and hours practicing and this is something we'll do we need to practice we need to learn um, uh, how to practice and uh, so that we can develop skills. And as we develop skills, uh, we'll begin to uh, um, create um, drawings from our imagination, uh, an, you know, explore an idea, um, depends on who you are uh, and where you're going and how you're, you're going to take these drawings out into the world. So uh, we will work on our skills and activate our imaginations this semester. This is a Drawing One Foundation course. Now, I wanted to go show this is a draw, drawing that I did this past um, spring after the pandemic hit. And I was uh, drawing late at night and having trouble sleeping. And um, I, I do a lot of drawing, a lot of painting. I'm an artist and I've been doing this since I was three. But I remember struggling with ideas and wanting to put things down and, and things not working the way I wanted to when I was in college. Uh, and I wanted to get better and I wanted to draw better, but I didn't. Um, and I was often impatient. Um, but the, I just kept going back to the drawing board and, and I kept working and working. So this was done late at night and this was in the uh, pandemic. Um, April 2020 after the pandemic hit and you know really felt like the world was spinning out of control but I, I at the time when I did these uh, series I have a series of the drawings um, I'm not 
thinking about that. You know, I was simply exploring shapes and, and patterns, and I got really captivated with the idea of these sort of um, flowers, these abstract flowers that were also functioning as maps and also creating motion. And so this is what I came up with, and I called it, I think, uh, um, I think I called it COVID-19. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to stop here and go to the next slide and talk to you about uh, some student drawings and the course, of course, of course. So uh, these are um, student drawings. Uh, they were not done at the beginning of the semester, obviously, but we did start off with contour. We did the about a month, and you will too, of line exercises um, in contour and organizational line. And then we start working on value um, and creating volume. And at that point too, uh, the drawing that you see with the pecans and the keys and um, the, the glass and the baby hand, um, we're, it's done with wet media. Uh, this is pen and ink, but we have watercolor to work with this semester. Um, so, but um, I'm also at this point as we build volume and learn how to make things round and three dimensional using value, um, the students begin to explore the environment around them. So the objects that you have around you um, often describe who you are. And so it's a great, by studying the, the things um, that are important to you and doing these little sketches, uh, we created these four um, small drawings um, on one sheet of paper that uh, were capturing uh, two things here. One is to observe the world around you and record uh, what you see and at the same time building value and then the results are a reflection of who you are. The other, the other one of uh, the color um, is done at the end of the semester, last semester and after the pandemic and everybody was working at home uh, they had a symbolic self-portrait that they were they knew they were going to be doing and working on uh, that we had discussed at the beginning of the semester. It was, but what I had asked them to do, and it was optional, uh, but to put themselves in the world, in the future. And this is the drawing the student came up with. It's beautiful. We were also short on time, and so I, I had asked that they combine the perspective unit with the portrait and pull the two together. So magical things happened. Um, I, was, I was so pleased to see uh, this drawing at the end of the semester. I saw the sketches and the preparation work, but she took it to another level. And I think part of it has to do with having the time. And we have a lot of time right now. A lot of you uh, are at home uh, and, and working or not working. We have more time on our hands than most, most of us ever had. So it's a great time to work um, and to grow and learn. And, you know, great things will happen.